How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I wanted to speak to everybody in regards to Laka. There has been an update. Now, one of the good things you will notice is your Wi-Fi will work upon your first boot up. You will not have to reboot and launch back into Laka you will notice that your Wi-Fi is working right off the bat. After you type in your password, of course, it will remember it, and you'll be good to go next time you boot up Laka. Now, Laka has been updated, and the Game Boy, the GameCube, I should say, and the Wii emulator are running really nicely. Um... GameCube is running better, obviously, than the Wii. Give it time, and we will get better frame rates all across the board. Patience, as always. Now, sound is done through Bluetooth, of course, for those who are new to the channel. So, how do you get this bad boy running for yourself? We're going to get right into that real soon. Won't take very long, and hopefully you won't have any problems. One thing I'm going to say is you're going to want to have your micro SD card formatted as FAT32. That is important to have your micro SD card as FAT32. I'm going to change out my controls real quick. That left analog the digital is causing an issue with driving. So as you can see, driving around, good frame rate. I could bump up the CPU and all that, but we're not going to do that right now. So I'm going to shut this off or reboot into RCM for the time being and the purposes of this video. If you do want to shut off Laka, um, reboot into RCM as I'm doing now. And then once you get into RCM, you could hold the power button for about 12 seconds, release, then hold the power button again for about 3 seconds or so. And you should boot back into your normal mode. I'm going to take out my micro SD card and we're going to get locker prepared. Remember, your micro SD card needs to be FAT32. That's what's supported for LACA on the Nintendo Switch currently. Plug that bad boy into my PC. Now, in the description, you're going to download a zip file. It's going to be the Laka 1 zip file. And what you're going to do is, you're going to open that up. You can extract both those folders onto your desktop, kind of like I did right here. Makes it a little more easily accessible for me. And it's easier for you guys to see the files with the black theme going on. So what you're going to want to do, if you've previously followed my methods for installing Laka, you're going to want to delete on the root of your micro SD card, delete that boot file or folder, I should say. You don't need that boot folder. Get rid of it. The boot folder is now located inside Laka, so keeps it a little more organized. Now, what you're going to do is within that Laka 1 zip file, you're going to find the Laka folder. You're going to drag and drop that folder onto your micro SD card, formatted as FAT32. As I've said before, it's not going to work as in uh, EXFAT. Now... I've already done that. It's on my micro SD card. I'm good to go. I'm going to eject my micro SD card properly from my computer. It's ready to be ejected. Unplug that from my mic or from my little dongle I got here. I'm going to plug my micro SD card. Back into my Nintendo Switch in just a moment. Almost put it in backwards. There we go. Now, 
you're gonna want your RCM jig. This is mine right here. My jig's pretty nice. I like it. Got that purple theme going on. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna slide your jig into the right Joy-Con slot right here. Short out those pins. And then you're gonna hold the volume up button and then the power button for about three seconds. Let go. As long as your screen is black, you should be good to go. You're in RCM mode. Now you're able to send your payload. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my computer in one of the folders that are in the Loco one zip file is a boot dash scripts dash master folder. That folder is gonna boot up Aka for you when you're in RCM mode. If you're on the same kind of Windows as me, you're gonna boot Windows dash boot dot bat. Now if you're on a 32 bit Windows, you're gonna launch the one that says Windows dash win32 dash boot dot bat. So I'm gonna launch the one for 64 bit systems. Ready to go. Waiting for my Nintendo Switch and RCM. Plug it in. Computer recognizes it. Patience will pay off in the end. Give it a moment. And that Nintendo Switch should boot right up into Laka. Good to go. Now, if you do have an issue booting up into Laka, give it another try. Don't give up. As you can see here, it didn't boot up the first time for me. I was hoping for that. This way I can show you guys that you can fix that. Don't give up the first try. I'm going to slide my RCM jig back into my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to hold volume up and power button for about 12 seconds. Switch is going to turn off. I'm going to hold it again for about 3 seconds. Should be in RCM mode. Let's give this another attempt. Get that ready. Plug it in, and you're going to be patient again, as I said. Normally it will boot up the first try. If you do have an issue and it doesn't boot up, give it another try. Don't give up, as I said. As you can see, it looks like we got a little further this time around. That's a good sign. Laka should be booting right up in just a moment. And as you can see, we're booted into Laka. I'm going to go down to CPU. I'm going to go to overclock 3, GPU overclock, overclock 3. And I'm going to go over to GameCube, launch the Simpsons. And you're going to see how good it runs. As I said, runs pretty good. No complaints from me. I've been having fun running around the city, causing a little bit of trouble. It's almost like Grand Theft Auto, but Simpsons style. It's pretty cool. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Remember, audio is working through Bluetooth, so if you got Bluetooth headphones, speaker, whatever you need, you can run it using your Bluetooth, and you'll have audio working. I obviously haven't hooked that up for this video as we were doing the tutorial for setting up Laka all together. All the best. Your man Leonidas, aka Mr. Homebrew. Doing good things. Got many tutorials for everybody up on the channel. Always trying to help people. That's the main goal. Going to cut this video. I hope you did enjoy. And I hope you don't have any problems getting yourself booted up. Nothing's perfect, but as you can see, persistence, and you will get into Laka. All the best, everyone, and remember, FAT32 for your micro SD card. Peace.